Well, it's February 24th, and the chestnuts have just started sprouting in mine. Some seem to sprout earlier than others. And you can see that the root reticule is starting to go in there. So I pulled out 28 of them. I actually have 27 sending them down. I got about 150 in storage. If you saw a previous video from November 15th, you saw me get these and put them into cold storage and cold stratification. And now we're gonna set it up. Some people do root maker cells. I'm gonna put them straight in the one gallon containers, these, and then I'm gonna put others into a root maker and in a separate setup. And mine is a simple setup. I have grow lights, I have the bags, I have a potting mix, and I have underneath here a plastic skirt with a heater that sits on a thermostat. It's not running right now. It keeps a certain temperature to give warmth. We'll see if it works out. It could fail miserably. That's the Chinese chestnuts, Dunstan chestnuts, bought from Chestnut Ridge in Pike County, Illinois. It has been 28 days since I put these seeds into soil, bagged them up, and put them on the video. These are the Dunstan chestnuts, I believe. Uh, they're a cross, and I received them from Chestnut Ridge of Pike County. I put them in cold stratification, as seen in a previous video, and I have started them growing. Now, if any of you are experienced growers, you will see that they are a little leggy, uh, but they are not, this is not bad. They will do fine. Uh, I just have to get them to bet more direct sunlight soon, uh, which I will. But you can see some are now, you know, my hand is about eight inches, so some are at about a, maybe 10 inches in height here. And I am very happy with what we've gotten as far as the growth. I have had 28 out of 28 grow. Some are like this first two rows, which are more leggy and really putting out a lot of growth. And then some are much smaller, as you see here, and we're just working on the growth. And this is the smallest one right down in here. But again, all 28 have sprouted. I've had no problems with damp, damp off or anything like that. I have watered them about every fifth day uh, with about one cup of water for these one gallon containers. And I have some bottom heat, uh, which is helping evaporate some of that off. But no pests so far. I'm going to keep my fingers crossed and uh, we'll see how they do. I just wanted to give an update, so thanks for watching, and you can continue to follow here as I grow these. This is an update on my chestnuts. These have been in the ground for about, now yeah, about two months. They're looking pretty good, being that they're under just ordinary fluorescent lights. They're, you know, well over about a foot and a half, 18 inches. Overall, they look fairly healthy. If you look at the leaf, you can see they're wanting a little bit, but I'm happy enough that with how they're looking for now. And then we'll get them gradually out to some real sunlight and get them some fertilizer and let them really take off. And then over here, I've planted up five root maker trays with chestnuts uh, that were remaining. I have a couple that I'm going to keep a special eye on. This nut in particular is huge. It is you know, almost two knuckle lengths long. And then this one here is also very large compared to its friends. I'm gonna keep track of that. And over the next e several years, gonna see how that turns out as far as if it plays out as being a bigger nut. It probably doesn't, but it's worth trying. And interesting. You can see that it's starting to send down their roots. You can see that. It takes uh, about two weeks for the top growth that comes out as far as I can tell. And we'll close with a final view of the trees here from the side. They are looking beautiful. Thanks for watching. I'll keep you updated. Well, I'm checking in, gonna show you my chestnut orchard. I've put in about 150 trees, 100 were seedlings that I purchased from Empire Chestnut Company in Ohio. They were beautiful. And they've all broken bud and are growing nicely. I started many uh, trees from seed bought from Chestnut Ridge of Pike County and these are those seedlings that I started in early April. They're all very happy and healthy. They're 
all about a foot to 14 inches tall. A few are a little smaller. I also have a few oaks in here that I scrounged up off the ground. And here's the orchard. I'm using Plantra tree tubes. You can see the brand name here, Plantra. I'm using the Sunflex Grow Tube. It comes with a very nice fiberglass stake. Very easy to put in. Comes with its own stake driver and uh, it comes with bird netting and you can see that I've got the trees planted here. And I'll take you over the tree. These chestnuts like to be planted from what I read on well drained areas and also good drainage from heavy fogs and so forth. So hilltops and hillsides are very good options. So you can see here I've planted rows that are 900 feet. I'm planting 30 foot part and this will limit how many trees I have to thin out as time goes. It will start with weaker yields in the first five to ten years but then should pick up significantly. And you can see that the trees go all the way down the hill and that's my orchard. I got about 75 more to plant. I'll be done for the year. This will be my test plot and we'll see how things turn out. And I'll check back in later. Thanks for checking in. This is an update on my chestnuts that I sprouted and have been following through this video series. As you can see, I've had them all out here now for a couple months. It's August 12, 2015. It's all grown up, anywhere between four and six feet with ragweed and so forth, but I've kept a nice mowed row here. And this is a representative sample hill here. I haven't heavily fertilized, I haven't fertilized these at all. Uh, and I'm gonna start fertilizing in the second year. I'm just gonna let them establish roots. So they look just slightly puny, but overall their growth has been pretty good. This is a, a seedling I planted from a seed from Chestnut Ridge of Pike County. This tree is about 18 to 20 inches, reaching 24 inches. <clears throat> you can see that overall, it looks a little light green. The lower leaves look a little healthier. It looks like it wants some sort of fertilization, but it's getting a little late in the summer for up here. I don't wanna turn out any new growth that can't harden off before the winter is here. And then next year, hopefully this thing will be ready to go and I'll fertilize it right before it breaks bud. And we'll have a tree coming out of the top of the tree tube. Thanks for watching. I'll keep you updated. And here in the next year or so, hopefully all these guys will be popping out of the top of the tubes. Well, it's September 15th of 2015, and this is the chestnut orchard as it stands after its first full summer in the ground. Some of these are two-year-old plants and some are one-year-old, as I told you before. In the middle of this field of goldenrod, we have a lot of trees over 200. These are the chestnuts that I showed you starting from seed. And this is one in a tree tube and that's a representative sample of what they're looking like about right now. They're about 18 inches tall and they're doing well. I've got all these long rows. Some are short and at 15 foot intervals, the rest are at 30 foot intervals. So we'll update you more as we get more pictures and as we start coming out of the top. We do have some that are coming out of the top. Thanks for checking in. Just a brief update showing you what we got here. Hopefully next spring we'll have a lot of survival and really have them taken off by that time. Thanks for watching. Well, it's February 20th, 2016. This is what the chestnuts look like today. We're walking through some snow. It's a beautiful day. Just a bunch of tree tubes growing right now. But you can see that the trees are sleeping here. We'll walk up on one.
above browse level for the deer. Check back in here once spring comes, although it feels like spring today. It's very early.